Hey guys, this is a segment from the Slump Buster podcast. You can find the full episode on any of the various podcast platforms, or of course, subscribe to us on YouTube for more of our content. Other than that, guys, sit down, bust a slump, and enjoy. Another team that we're well versed in coming from the New Mexico area, the Denver Broncos, they did a lot to build around their sophomore quarterback, Drew Locke. It's going to be interesting to see whether this guy is the Locke starter moving forward for the Denver Broncos. But around him, he now has Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler, their first two selections in draft, both dynamic in their own unique ways. They also added their biggest free agent acquisition is going to be Melvin Gordon. They traded for A.J. Bouye. He was right behind Jalen Ramsey in Saxonville, that powerful defense in 2017. At OC, to pair with Vic Fangio, former New York Giants head coach Pat Shermer. Now, there are some questions about this team, but at the same time, this team has been one of the most exciting dark horse teams, and that's not a Bronco pun, coming into this season. A lot of pundits are predicting this team to do big things, and I could see it just given They had a lot of hard luck losses last year. I don't know, Dre, if you remember, but there was several games that they lost in the final 30 seconds to final minute. There would even be points in which they would drive downfield. Joe Flacco would drive them downfield, throw the win, what should have been the game-winning touchdown, and then 30 seconds later, they would give up the game-winning field goal to Mitch Trubisky and the Bears. There was five games they lost last year, and if you take the combined total of all those losses, it was 18 points. That differential is definitely heartbreaking. Now, as far as their head coach, Vic Fangio, I've always liked Vic, going back to when he was the Niners defensive coordinator in 2012 through 2015, basically their run of dominance defensively. However, looking at this team now, I have them finishing pretty well, but you do not. So I want you to kind of elaborate on that. Yeah, I just thought, like you said, there's always those coin flip games that you think they can change the next year, right? And that's just historically been true. But also they're transitioning at quarterback. And like you said, Joe Flacco was the one that led them to a lot of that. Now they've got, you know, sophomore quarterback in there. And so I'm just not really inspired by them. Maybe I'm just a little bit low just because I saw how many losses they had last year. And I'm just sort of extrapolating on their record, not necessarily doing the deeper analysis. But I just don't see them doing all that well. And especially I don't know about Locke. And so I've got them going 4-12. and So you don't think that Drew Locke is the guy? I'm not convinced yet. He sort of has to be for this year, but I don't know if he's the answer moving forward. Well, in five games last year, Drew Locke had a 64% completion percentage, threw for over 1,000 yards, and had seven touchdowns. And not only the additions that they made in offense that I stated earlier, but they do still do have Philip Lindsay on that team. They still do have Noah Fant, who they drafted first round last year, a dynamic playmaking tight end out of Iowa. We've seen plenty of those do well in the league before. Do you think this has potential to be a top 10 offense? Uh, it has the potential. I would say they're still probably a year away, though. Okay, so still a year away. So that would leave them finishing where for you, Dre? Uh, I actually still have them going uh, four and twelve. That's uh, four and twelve. Whew. So we I are, have them sliding back. <laughs> we are very far apart on this one. I have them finishing ten and six. I, I think this team is poised to be a very good team in this conference, a very competitive team in this division. I feel like a lot of those coin flip games are going to turn into wins because I think they have a better sense of direction. They have enough playmakers on the offensive side of the ball to be dynamic, and then their defense. I like their defense. Von Miller is not what he was, but he's still a very talented edge rusher. And Bradley Chubb is coming back off of that ACL. If he's healthy, that one-two punch of edge rushers, that's fearsome for a quarterback. That's tough if you're a quarterback. And then if you do have enough time, by some miracle, you have a lockdown corner and A.J. Boulier covering your number one target at wide receiver. So I think this team has the pieces to compete. Whether they're going to be back to their 2015 Broncos form on defense, very questionable. But Vic Fangio, considering he's their head coach, you know they're going to be tough on defense. The question is just going to be, again, can Drew Locke live up to the hype on offense? He was a second-round pick. It's not like this is a fourth-round selection that just happened to shine last year. Clearly, the, the Broncos thought this guy has potential, and they were happy as hell to steal him in the second round in 2019. So I don't think it's improbable to say that Drew Locke could be the franchise starter out there in Denver.